Welcome to Poland Daily Business. I'm Nicholas Richardson and these are our business stories. 100 days after Poland announced a state of epidemic, a total of 100 billion złoty, or 22.5 billion euro, has been transferred to save 5 million jobs, Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said. The Polish government is spending about 1 billion złoty per day to cover the coronavirus losses to the economy. Summing up the government's crisis response, Morawiecki stressed that the coronavirus outbreak in Poland had simultaneously hit supply, demand and company liquidity and brought the threat of growing unemployment. Morawiecki praised his government's decisions as the best possible. The pandemic is still not entirely behind us, but the fact that we have it under control to a significant degree makes me optimistic and bodes well for the future, giving us the possibility to come out of this crisis quickly, Morawiecki said. Paweł Borysz, head of the Polish Development Fund, has stated that data for May confirmed that the economic downturn was in April and now the economy has entered the next stage of expansion. The strong rebound in retail sales in May, partly deferred expenditure, shows that retail sales dynamics have a V-shape, while that of industry is a U-shape, Borysz wrote. The Central Statistics Office has published data on May's retail sales in Poland. It turns out that retail sales decreased by 7.7% year-on-year, but were up by 14.9% compared to April. The data are better than expected. The Ministry of Finance has announced that 27,600 taxpayers declared personal income of over 1 million złoty, that's 250,000 euro. These people will now pay the 4% solidarity tax introduced last year. This money will go to the Disabled People Support Fund, which also finances additional retirement benefits. The tax base includes all income, including employment contracts, work and commission contracts, business operations and the sale of securities. If you wish to join the ranks of the Zwati Income Millionaires, please remember that you will be only one among 27,600 fellow wealthy people. According to the Ministry of Climate, Renewable energy sources in Poland match the combined output of the traditional coal-fired power stations of Belhatov, Turov and Apole. The photovoltaics, wind and water turbines currently provide 10 gigawatts of power. The fastest developing green energy source is solar power. Since December 2015, the power of photovoltaic installations has grown by over 1600%. Most of the installations are smaller solar farms developed as a result of government programmes. Those are the business headlines. Thank you for watching and do join us again on Poland Daily Business.